Hey there folks. Uh, now unfortunately there is not going to be any painting today. Um, there was going to be, and in part that's what I want to talk to you about, because a couple of days ago um, I got started on this fella here. You can see he's mostly finished. There's going to be one or two things to brighten him up a little bit and uh, dull down some of that shininess to him. Unfortunately, I encountered something that I'd never done before with the transfer that I tried to put on his shield. And it threw me for a loop. I've never come across a transfer where you have to paint the area underneath first. And in hindsight, I should have just read the bloody instructions. You know? Um, I've been painting and modeling for, oh geez, almost 30 years. And in that time, like I said, I've just, I've never come across that before. So there is always a first time that you discover something. I really just wish that I had taken the time to discover it before doing all of that work. So there was discussion about um, showing the solution or showing how to fix it and what have you. And honestly, in this case, I don't really think there is a solution. Um, I could try sanding it off, but then I don't have the, the decal that I had wanted this entire color scheme to be based around. You see what I mean? So no, there's not going to be a video fixing that. So I thought to myself, well, now that I know, I'm going to fix the problem. I'm going to prime a dude white, apply the decals like they're supposed to be, and then paint around him. And won't that be interesting? Because it's a different style of decal, and of course these miniatures are really bloody cool. Uh, these are the new knights from Victrix, and they are very neat. I really wanted to do a video on them that would show them off, and I'm going to do that next week anyhow. Because today I took this fellow outside, and in the realm of me making foolish decisions, where I really should know better, I decided I was going to try and prime him white when it is hot and humid outside. So you can't really see it on the camera just because of the way you know white primer works, but he's got this awful grainy texture and just one thing after another has gone wrong. And that's been true of most of the week. Nothing has quite turned out the way I wanted. And it's a little embarrassing because I do ordinarily like to have out at least a video a week. Uh, there was a time when I was putting out three a week and it's probably not all that healthy. But uh, one a week or two a week is, is doable if I have my thinking cap on. So on the subject of fixing problems, well, honestly, sometimes you have a problem that doesn't have a fix towards the solution that you want. This fella, for example, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'm probably going to strip him down and paint him for my own collection because I do want a few of these knights. But this guy here, what I'm going to do is to strip him down and reprime him on a better day for it because, well, I've learned my lesson. And I think that's something that, that is what I would take away as a lesson here rather than how to fix a problem. Because sometimes things just go wrong. You know, either it is a mistake that you've made, as both of these have been, and it happens all the time. You know, you make a, a little mistake or your hand slips and blah, blah, but you got to fix it. You know, you, you don't necessarily want to throw out the work that you've done. Now, in most videos of mine, if you've seen me make a mistake... I will normally keep it in. I don't think there's a lot of value in editing out mistakes because it's part of the process. You know? So in this instance, there's nothing to edit out. I have to start from scratch. So I wanted to take this as an opportunity to actually share some advice from my grandfather, uh, which he, he gave me when I was a wee fella. And it has, in a lot of situations, really helped. Not just in painting, but... You'll get, a, you'll get a, the gist here. He told me once, never make a decision when you're upset. And never act when you're angry. And it's it stood me in good stead my whole life. Don't make a decision when you're upset. Don't act when you're angry. And I think when it comes to painting, you know, when you, when you are upset, when you're pissed off, when you're angry, just put the miniature down. Uh, fix the problem, you know, if you've splurged over with paint or something, fix the problem as much as you can in the moment, and then put it aside. Because 
you don't want to be headbutting a problem that you're just going to make worse in your frustration. That was a difficult lesson for me to learn as a younger fella. And, uh, you know, if, if it helps you, then all the better. And of course, don't make decisions while you're upset. Uh, I very nearly threw this guy out entirely, just chucked him in the bin. And what a waste that would be. You know, he's still a perfectly reasonable miniature. Um, very quick to paint the way that I did him anyway. And I think a whole bunch of them will look cool. So rather than, as we say, biting my nose off to spite my face, I didn't make a decision. I didn't do anything. I just put him aside and come back to that later. So, yeah, unfortunately, nothing much that I can really show you to fix these things. But I figured a little bit of perspective and something that has helped me in the past, um, it might be worth sharing. And my grandfather is like one of the coolest guys I know. So <laughs> if, he, if he ever sees this, if he does watch YouTube, granddad, hi. But yeah, that's always been some good advice. And today, here it is for you. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing something for myself. Um, honestly, when I am struggling to push through with something, directing the, the energy somewhere else, I find, quite helps. Um, this fella, obviously, he's going to be a little bit munted throughout the day as I try and strip the paint off of him. But something else, I'll, I'll finish it for myself and just relax. Because yeah, you don't want to keep coming back, like I said, and headbutting the wall. So, unfortunately, nothing this week. Do go and check out the Victrix uh, Mounted Knights because they are extremely cool miniatures and there will be a full-on review and paint fairly soon. Just thought I'd say hi and uh, fill you in. I didn't want to be in front of the camera today because I was having a proper sulk about it. That aside, I'm going to go have some fun. You folks, I hope you enjoy your weekend, look after yourselves, and... If a mistake ever comes up that you can't fix in the moment, be kind to yourselves. Just put it aside. So, be good. I will see you guys next week.